Hi, my name's Sarah O'Neill and welcome back to Bridal Boot Camp on My Wedding Scrapbook. Today we're going to talk about alcohol and how you can sensibly enjoy a few social drinks in the run-up to your wedding without sabotaging your wedding body. So let's take a look at some drinks that you should really avoid in your engagement and some drinks that you can enjoy with a lower calorie option. Best to steer clear of anything beer, cider, ale, these kind of things. A pint is about two to 250 calories in one foul sweep. Wine is another place where you can take in a lot of calories. A bottle of wine is about five to 550 calories, which is the equivalent to two Mars bars, two Snickers bars. And if you think of it that way, it can be quite a good deterrent to drinking a bottle of wine on a weekend. Other things to be aware of are your drink mixers, such as your Bacardi breezers, your Smirnoff ice, your Blue Wicked. Those sorts of things are absolutely packed full of sugars. And anything with juices again, so having copious amounts of vodka and orange, Five of those won't make five a day, but it will give you a really bad hangover the next day. So let's talk about how you can make it a little bit healthier when you want to go out and have a few celebratory drinks. Firstly, avoid your full calorie mixers. There's really no point in having Coke over Diet Coke. We've got 140 calories and 40% of your daily sugar versus one calorie. So if you're gonna pick a mixer, be really careful with that. Likewise with your tonic waters, you've got 35 calories in your normal tonic versus one calorie in your slimline tonic. It's a no-brainer. So if you want to save on calories and sugar on a night out, it's best really to stick to your white spirits. The lighter spirits tend to give you a lesser hangover as well, which is also quite helpful. Something like um, a vodka is about 50 calories for a shot. And so if you just add a bit of soda water into this, you've really got a pretty low calorie drink only got the calories from the vodka. Again, gin and slimline tonic, you're only looking at around 50 to 60 calories. So it's a fairly light choice for a night out. And happily for us, champagne only contains about 90 calories a glass. So cheers to that. It's really important that you make sure that you're factoring enough alcohol-free days in the run-up to your wedding. And if you struggle to lose weight from around your midsection, alcohol could be the culprit, because around the middle is where sugars tend to be stored. So if this is you, it might be worth eliminating alcohol, at least for a time, and see if that does the trick. If you like this video, remember to give it the thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you missed any of the videos, you can catch up with them on the playlist. Good luck with all your wedding preparations. We'd love to hear from you, so do get in touch. Thanks for watching Bridal Bootcamp. Bye.